Hello, hello, and welcome to Skeeter Jones Things. I'm Misty, and in this video, I will be showing some items that I picked up at, at some yard sales and an estate sale last weekend, a week ago. Um, so let's jump right into it after I ask you to give me a like, a subscribe, and a comment if you like what you see here. And if you're interested in any of, any of the pieces, um, you can email me at skeeterjonesthings at gmail.com. Include the name of the video, your uh, PayPal email, an item number, and a brief description of the item. Keep these things here in mind, and then let's jump right into it. I uh, actually went to this. Uh, this came from a yard sale. And uh, the lady said that it came from Hawaii. Hawaii calls. Um, she didn't say when she went to Hawaii, but this is a shell stretch bracelet. And um, it has good stretch. And I do not know what kind of shells these are, but this is from Hawaii. Stretchy shell bracelet. And uh, the reason that we're starting with number 34 is I'm filming this right after uh, I finished filming the Goodwill bag uh, video which ended with item 33. Uh, so this is item 34 and uh, the purchaser will get the box with this that says Hawaii Calls. Um, item 34 Hawaii Shell Bracelet. Let's see, at this same yard sale, there was, uh, this lady traveled, and uh, uh, she had this Eiffel Tower charm bracelet that I thought I bought, but when I got home, it was not in my things, so maybe I dropped it somewhere. Um, she said that this um, was jade, and it feels um, heavy enough to be jade, but the color is kind of, I've never seen jade kind of mottled like that. Um, we're going to test it. It is uh, 8 inches. Oh, well, I had a really big problem hitting the camera in my last video, too. I've got to get that under control. Let's turn on the Presidium. I had to turn it off so it wouldn't overheat. And uh, we'll test this as soon as the Presidium finishes warming up. And uh, we'll test these little earrings, too. Um, but I think the earrings, I saw through the bag, I think they have a mark on the hooks. They do. Right there. So while we're waiting for the Presidium, I'll go ahead and test the hooks on these little earrings. And it's a nice scratch showing up on those. We're looking for it to turn blue if they are indeed sterling. And uh, we have a winner. Yes, those are sterling hooks. Um, I really don't think that uh, turquoise shows up on the Presidium. So uh, it may or may not show anything on these little stones. Okay, it is warmed up. Let's check the calibration. Looks good. And then we'll check glass. That looks good as well. Let's see what it says about our bracelet here. Okay. Well, it doesn't go up to jadeite, but it does go firmly to the middle of the tanzanite aquamarine line into the garnet and tourmaline and iolite line. Sometimes stones that are mottled with different, uh, different shades throughout, it can be uh, a completely different stone mixed in with it. Um, this is coming really into the tourmaline, iolite, and tanzanite area, even like when you do the dark places versus the light places on it. 
but it does not get up to the jadeite line at all. Let's test a really dark spot on it and see what that comes up. So it's really in that tourmaline iolite garnet line. Um, so I, if anybody has any comments um, as to what this could be, um, I would appreciate uh, whatever knowledge you might have to share on that. Um, again, it is eight inches on the measurement. That's what it looks like on. It is very pretty and very, very cold. So uh, we will just call that, um, I don't know, uh, we'll call it uh, tourmaline for now, for the purpose of the video, tourmaline bracelet, item 35. And then um, this looks really bright to be, uh, to be turquoise, so I don't think it is. But I don't think turquoise shows up on the Presidium anyway. Okay, this goes up to... Now this does kind of touch the jadeite line. Well, no, it goes further into the jadeite. Well, what do you know? This is a jadeite. I thought it was going to be some type of a... A variant, I guess, of turquoise. But this is a jadeite. Jadeite and sterling earrings. So pretty. The color is a, the actual color is very true to the video here. The measurement, these are really dainty and small. Um, about a half inch long, maybe just a touch smaller than a half inch long. So we're going to call these jadeite earrings, number 36. Sterling jadeite earrings. Um, this looks like it may be a craft thing. This lady uh, made jewelry as well, and she said that some of those things may be broken. But I know that a lot of people like their uh, craft pieces. That's a bead, and this looks like leather cord. Yeah, here's the clasp on this. So this will just be good for crafting. It's got some really neat pieces on it. So I will put that in the craft lot for that Goodwill bag. Here's a little charm that says trust. I'll put it in that same craft lot. And here are the little uh, religious fish, or Christian fish that are marked what is the mark though 95 well we will test that out and see okay there's the fish and here's the hook So remember, just because one part uh, may test it, uh, sterling does not mean that the whole thing is going to be sterling. It's made of different components, and each component can uh, be made of something different. Okay, the okay, they are both sterling. Okay, nice. But one of the earrings here is missing a hook. I have a sterling hook that I will put on that. So we will just say sterling um, Christian fish, number 37. I'm going to go ahead and keep, well, I've got to wipe this off, but I am going to uh, keep my sterling testing over here because I have a feeling I'm going to be needing it.
Okay, these are just, uh, they came in the bag. I really wanted these, but these were in the bag. So I had to take these as well. They're just really large um, faux pearl earrings. Those will go in that craft lot. These were what I was interested in, in that bag. So let's give them a look. They have some kind of mark in them too. B.S. Sterling. I do not know that maker B.S. Okay. There's no mark on these. But we will give them a test as well. Okay. I'm doing better about not bumping my tripod. That was a really big problem in my last video, and I know I've done it a couple of times in this one already. Okay, these with the, with the floral work on them. There, that's a good scratch. And then these just uh, plain ones. Whenever you're doing this, um, if you're testing it uh, more than one piece at a time, you need to put enough space between your scratches that the acid doesn't run together because you can uh, contaminate your tests that way. Okay. Let's get everything in focus if we can. There. Okay, these are the ones with the uh, floral work on them. And these are the plain ones. Okay, the plain ones without markings actually are sterling. The ones with the marking, oddly, are not showing a whole lot. Okay, oh, wait. I am seeing a little now. The ones that aren't even marked are really bright. Okay. I'll try a different spot. Okay, these are the ones with the scroll work again. I'm getting a much better scratch this time. Let's see what it reads. Okay, yes. Yes, that is sterling. Okay. I just didn't get a good enough scratch on that first test. So, two pairs of sterling hoops. That's nice. Okay. So, floral sterling hoops. Those will be item 38. And we'll just call these uh, plain sterling hoops, item 39. Oh, wait, this could be the hook for that other fish. I bet it is. Yeah, we'll put that together. There it is. Okay, so he found his hook. I wish I could have found that Eiffel Tower bracelet. I was just so sad to realize that I did not have that when I got home. Okay, I don't know what this... I must have picked that up because of something else that was in that little bag. 
I think it was because of this. I think this bead is bone. And I think that's what I was interested in. Because I know some people like that. So I'll put that in the craft lot. And then this is going to go in the craft lot too. This is uh, coconut. which, And this is probably also... Yeah, that's bone also. Okay. These are tangled up. Okay. Oh, how pretty. They have a good bit of wear on them. So they'll make a nice little crafty piece, but they're pretty. Yep. I do remember that now. Um, I was just interested in that that bone. See, these are some nice pieces for someone to craft with. This is an anklet, it looks like. But it's got a good bit of wear also. A piece of abalone, it looks like. And these little rings. Yep, yeah, all of that will go in the craft lot. I just picked that up because I knew somebody would like that um, that little piece of carved bone. Okay, what was this one? Oh yes, okay. This lady, she gave me both of these. This little card inside says, Always believe in yourself. Butterflies are beautiful creatures that represent hope, transformation, and rebirth. They remind us that no matter what happens in life, there is always time to start again. A nice sentiment and uh, these rings are like little fidget rings the the butterfly part spins around I don't think they're sterling no they're not they're just silver tone but the background we come way in the background is floral and then the little butterfly part just spins like a little fidget thing um, this one says six but I'll measure it this one did not have a little bag on it and it's about a six yeah so they're both about a six I think let's measure this one just to be sure yes and this one looks really glossy, like it's new. This one doesn't look quite so glossy. So I will do these separately. Or if somebody wants them both, I'll sell them both. Size 6 butterfly fidget rings. I'm going to put them up separately because somebody might not want them both. But the one that looks new, I'm going to put in the box with everything. And that'll be item 40. And then the one that looks like it's possibly worn. Um, I mean, like it doesn't show a bunch of wear or anything like that. It just looks like it has been loved. So, I'll sell that one separately. And that'll be number 41. Okay. Getting down to the end here. Okay, this... Um, which I really, something's wrong with the card here, I guess, but you can see it originally retailed for $68. Um, it still has a tag on it. It still has the little thing that holds the chain together in the back. So Jessica Simpson, uh, what, sterling silver, 14 karat gold plated paper clip, curb link, toggle necklace. So there's the toggle, there's the paper clip link, there's the curb link originally $68. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you a price on this. Um, this one is uh, going to be $40 for the Jessica Simpson paperclip curb link necklace gold plated. Uh, number 42 will just say Jessica Simpson necklace. And here's another little treasure that is still uh, new in the package. Sterling Silver Genuine Crystal Brilliance Fine Jewelry, $48 originally, 
has not been worn. You see it's still in its little package here. In the back, Brilliance Fine Jewelry, Sterling and Crystal. It's a little feather or a leaf. You know, I don't know if you could even see that. There it is. I was looking over the camera instead of through the camera. Okay, and then these are just Pave crystals in shades of blue and purple or pink. Yeah, blue and pink. And either really dark blue or maybe black right there. Brand new, never worn, and we will do this one for $35. In the gift box, brand new. And that will be number 43, and we will just call that um, uh, crystal uh, leaf necklace, number 43. Okay, that looks like all for those items. So thank you again for joining me for this video. Once again, here's how you order anything you might like. Email me at skeeterjonesthings at gmail.com. Include the video name, the item number, and a brief description. Your PayPal email. Keep these things in mind. And be kind with your comments. And please consider giving me a like and a share. If you like my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit all so you'll know every time I upload. And be kind in the comments. But do comment. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Bye.